Welcome back to the Lemon Drops Podcast. I'm your co-host, Nick. I'm your other co-host, TJ. And here we have another homeless person from the streets, Dustin. I'm here. He's back, baby. I was so incredible the last time that they paid me $18 instead of nothing. Yeah. And now we're here. Eh. Uh, I think yeah. I got the mix up. I think you paid us $18 to let it to... I'm not good with money. Uh huh. <laughs> that's that's obvious. We made you think you were getting a deal because we said you get two dollars off a of twenty, and it happened. We made it happen, baby. So we're you're here. welcome. We now the iconic trio of two random people and then TJ. <laughs> Funny. Sure. Iconic people of what? Yeah. Okay, let's go. What do you want to talk about? What was the topic that you wrote down earlier that you said you wrote down? I didn't say I wrote down anything. Oh, we, no, remember the topic? The topic oh, yeah, food. That, TJ, talk about your bean burritos. That was the beefy five-layer burrito, which I thought was the five-layer beef burrito, but no. According to beefy Taco Bell, it's burrito. called the beefy five-layer burrito. What does it start with? Burritos. Beefy. Is it beef or beans? Is beefy. that the base? Beef is the beans? I'm just going by the name, which it says beefy, beefy five layers. Wait, no, it's beefy five layer. It, wait, it's probably no. beefy five layer bean burrito. That makes more sense than beefy five layer beef burrito. So it's five layers of beans. Five layers of beans, no beef. No beef. No, there's, oh, it's, no, there's beef. Five beans. It's, no, there's beefy beef. Five beans. Okay. Beefy five, five beans on a stack. Wrapped up in a tortilla. With a beefy texture. And fried with beef. That's what I call a... Patio. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. We're doing gestures, trying to fix stuff. Because talking is wrong. Yeah, yes. talking is wrong. I am the audio technician here. Because and TJ is just Jackie Chan just can't get enough of it, am I right? I am enough of it. She breaks she... bones. Okay. I watched... So... I watched an old man that was a retired police officer. Whoa. He made a joke, and right afterwards, he went like this. As I put him after his joke. Yeah. But it was just this. After his joke. Okay. It was incredible. I've never seen it happen in a while. How? What? That must have been That's insane. Incredible. Mm-hmm. That must have been so cool. But like, dumb. You never see it. Except he should have done... A slappy hand. Could have maybe been. I don't know, but you don't change the sticks when you do it. But when you're he's on the not drums, using sticks. He's using hands. But he uses different sounds. He doesn't go. But I'm... He goes. But he's just hitting the other drum. Like the yes, other, and it makes a sound. Thing. The cymbal or whatever. But um, It's not but dum bum. It's but um, But you have to but um and then over here. But so. Yeah, so he's but just making the, he's not he's not worried about the noises. It's uh, just this is gonna sound lovely on them. He just th- wants th- the. This is gonna sound lovely on yeah. the microphones, okay. guys. Great job. Next topic. Okay. We'll right into it. Let's do we'll transitions. Transition. Speaking. Speaking of, of food, <laughs> how's your hamster? <laughs> My hamster is dead. I assume. I don't know. You assume? You assume? What well, happened to your let hamster? Let me explain. Okay. I lived in Mexico. Put a nerd in our head. I know. And there, there was hamsters at the dollar store for like 99 cents. That's insane. Well, that's so not we a dollar bought store. them in bulk. And some of them survived. Some of them we played baseball. <laughs> and then the other ones made more babies. Okay? And mm-hmm. then you could sell them back to the store for more 99 cents. That's incredible profits. I don't know what the prices were. Um, anyway, we would raise them, and then when we went to move back to Indiana, we didn't want to take them back to Indiana. So you just left them there? there's no market here. But you could have started the market. But there's none here. But you could have so we one. went outside and found a hole and put them down a hole. It was probably a rattlesnake hole. <laughs> we just... <laughs> Sent them down into the oblivion, and we never saw them again. That's incredible. They're That's probably insane. dead, but they also might have bandanas and machetes now and are running the place. <laughs> You've st- 
started the have, hamster mafia. Have boots made of rattlesnake skin. Yeah. Rattlesnake. They have like the little rattler on mm-hmm. coming out of their bandana. They have created the movie Rango. They know the now, coyotes know. They insane. hear the rattlesnakes. It's not rattlesnakes anymore. It's the hamsters. It's the bandana hamsters. hamsters. They know to run. Hamsters gone rogue. Oh. Bandana hamsters. That's a good band name. <laughs> band name. We're changing the podcast name to, to Bandana, bandana hamsters. hamsters. Jinx. You know, it's a double it's jinx. jinx. I won. No. Such a rude person. Get oh. clapped. I did that on purpose. Well, well, it's That's nice to think. have someone less intellectual on the podcast after last episode. What was last episode? We you had, didn't watch it? Had, uh, man. Oh, of course I did. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So Who did we have on the podcast? That, ah, oh gosh, that guy. It was me. I was on the podcast. Was it a solo podcast? Nope. Why are you asking uh, that if you watched don't it? Don't tell me. Don't tell me. I know. He a lot lives, of talking. He lives. He had don't tell voices. him where he they live. 200 feet from here. Similar voices from you guys, so it was hard to tell. <laughs> no. Was it Denver? No. Darn it. Close. You were clo- close, but Alex. no banana. Nope. Zach. Close, yeah. but no banana. Oh, wait. That I is ran right. through the whole family. <laughs> it would have been Scott next. We would not have someone that old on the podcast. Well, that is very rude. I think we could. That I mean, we could, ages. but we just don't because we're too scared. Fine. I'll have to ask him, and then we'll, we can talk about how much money he has and wow. try to extort him. What? Nothing. You okay. Speaking of extorting money from people, Dustin, um, how how have your escapades been? You're good for extortion, right? We extorted you into paying money to be on the podcast. No, we didn't. We should have. Yeah, we should have, but we. Didn't. Or maybe we did. We'll settle Dustin, up afterwards. Dustin, did we? We'll settle up afterwards. Oh, afterwards of what? After the podcast. I knew it. I'm nothing but a phony. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, Dustin, but we're going to tr- it, you, we're have to charge you for being on the podcast. We charge by the minute, $37 a minute. What all did you buy at Cabela's? We went to a Cabela's. We went on a Cabela's for run business? yesterday. It was for a business trip. We're not just really Business just trip. We that. went to Cabela's and we all got millions of dollars to spend at Cabela's. Mm-hmm. I bought the store, so everyone else paid me their money. So <laughs> yeah, that TJ was... just made big profits. That's what I call marketing. And then, Dustin, did you buy a gun? I did. What gun? Did you legally Beretta. buy it? Mm. Yeah. Okay, good. Yeah. Darn it. They did a background check, and Joe Biden said it was okay. Oh, cool. So now I have a gun. A multiple. We're going to disclose that. Well, I'll give out my address a little bit later. And then... If anyone wants to come challenge this man. We're going to have like one of those waves of waves of you know you play those games where you have waves of zombies mm-hmm. uh-huh I've i'm gonna do that plants versus zombies <laughs> with lemon drops podcast viewers <laughs> all seven of them let's yes. go <laughs> <laughs> we only have enough for one wave <laughs> let's go gamers we'll yeah. take care of it i bought a shotgun okay nice was it over and under no nope. i wish it would have been i regret not doing it oh. i was he debating bought... either an over and under or then like practical semi-auto version and then the semi-auto was ever so slightly cheaper about the same price same weight and then after i got home i was like i should have gone with the over and under it would have just been cooler but i didn't yeah the also over and the over and cool. under wasn't the caliber that i wanted no. it was a 20 and i wanted a 12 no but, smart but no so that's tough i no, did not I, buy a gun yeah because you're a poor beanie. A beanie. How much money did you have left? I have $148.26. I think I'm going to go Can online. Can you online ship it to yeah, yourself? Yeah, you can. Yes. I you think can do so. That. That's a good idea. That's a good idea. Mm-hmm. Why did you not buy the Glock 19? Yeah. Well, I already have... Why don't you get the FN 509 or whatever that one was? It was all complex F-9. and you can't buy them in Michigan. Or Indianians can't buy handguns in Michigan. I could have gotten Wait, it shipped. Wait, but someone already... Then why didn't you get it shipped? I, well, they said that it would be much easier to just go online and ship it to your local gun dealer in Indianian 
why I don't you own. just why did Dutchman? Well, are you gonna do that? I might still. Are you gonna buy the FN five hundred nine? That FN9? gives me some more time to think about it. Well, you know, you could buy a coat. Uh huh. I have one of those. Brady bought a coat. You could buy another coat. You have a gun. This is my coat. That's a sweatshirt. It? That's a hoodie. Hood. Same thing. No, it's not. Where the hood, Hoodies where don't the have hood, zippers. Where the hood at? Where the who? Where the who? Where the who? Uh, no, you didn't no, buy no, anything, no, did you? you yeah, yeah he did. Just, I did. He bought it. It's not like Cabela's. Son of a gun. I bought a VR headset. Oculus Quest 2. They have those in Cabela's, Rich huh? people. Nope. Mm-hmm. They don't. Mm-hmm. You just didn't look in the right places. Yeah. They had, yeah. actually, they had some massive speakers there that I was kind of tempted to buy, but I didn't. Why didn't you buy it? Because I wanted... Because he's poor. Other thing. <laughs> Even though he buys more expensive things. Yeah, I spent more money Smart. than TJ did, nerd. <laughs> Dustin spent more money than you did. He spent almost the equivalent... Don't tell him how much he no, spent. No, I said he spent almost the equivalent of my headset on sunglasses. Mm. It was peer pressure. <laughs> <laughs> Who was peer pressuring you? you? Nick came up to me and said, buy him, and I had to. Oh. Yeah, uh, I had him at gunpoint with his own gun. I had wanted to buy glasses for a while, but not really those. Then why'd you buy those? Because we had to leave just soon, and I still had to use the bathroom. <laughs> so you <laughs> decided to spend and he didn't want to go to the bathroom an extraordinary amount of money on glasses. Well, you have to remember, I'm rich. No, uh, yeah. Okay. Okay. I got that Sherply money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm. mm-hmm. So I just took care of it. That's nice. And I asked you to buy me some, and you didn't, meaning you're poor. Well, you there is, what was it, 60 bucks off 60, the next pair? 60 bucks off. I was offering you that, and you're like, yeah. <laughs> I'm not going to. Well, <laughs> I don't want that. I'm not, I'm still not gonna spend eighty dollars, hundred eighty, hundred twenty dollars on sunglasses. One hundred and forty. Try and do math, okay? I'm just kidding. It was one hundred fifty. Yeah. It would have been one hundred fifty. Yeah. I was looking at some like actual <clears throat> sunglasses, like made to wow, <laughs> made to <laughs> made to block not out see the sun. sun anymore. And I said, I'm gonna buy these. And then what happened? They were too expensive. Oh. I wasn't looking at the prices because I thought, how much can actual sunglasses be? They're not made out of gold. They're not made out of bigger gold. So I thought it was foolproof. It wasn't. What brand was it? I don't know. Probably like Oakley. Yeah. I don't know. They were two hundred and fifty bucks. Yeah. So I okay. so I didn't buy them. Because why are they expensive like that? Because I guess they actually do their job well. They have like a three. Unlike the five dollar sunglasses I have. Like the only way they can, like the amount of material they're putting into them, it can only be like. What, 20 bucks in material at least 30 bucks maybe it's like a 200 dollars worth of putting it together that's true it could be made in america <laughs> <laughs> it takes an hour well they do come with like a great warranty i think I like was, the Oakley... i was thinking like sweatshops where it's like 20 cents to put them together but it's not but it's not it's probably america that's why i picked it oakley might be america ray-ban seems like they would be more of a yeah. european indonesia type of place Ray Ban, Ray Ban. That sounds more like Mexican. I, th- I thought it was spelled like R A Y Band, but it's not. It's a Ray Ban. I'm like, that's confusing. I already knew that because I bought Ray Ban before. Oh. For someone else. Oh. How much did you spend on Ray Ban? I don't know. No, I'm not gonna disclose that information. Poor. Poor. And I whether bought, or not I... I bought them, or whether I wanted someone else to buy them, so for me to give them. It doesn't matter. Either way, <laughs> I gave it to someone. Whether or not I paid Did for it, that's or debatable. Were they used? I think they were used. That which me, it, it, it wasn't as expensive as his. Because I um, smart and bought it, I think, maybe off of eBay. I bought the Ultimate Glasses, which are VR goggles. So I already have those. You do? What you do? No. Didn't <laughs> I have <laughs> the smart. FPV stuff. Well, that's not a VR. That is, is it? IRL VR doesn't have any the in real life tracking, vr i have my <laughs> i have my <laughs> eyes i have IRL Boom. vr but i don't like my life so <laughs> i'm gonna hide in a video that's game. sad are that's you okay? okay it was a joke tj that's what you think don't Maybe, worry about yeah, that is what i think don't worry about it i got this you'll be okay will i though you'll be okay as long as you're alive if you'll... you were going through something i wouldn't help you <laughs> that is you've made that very I'd clear. hope whatever you're going through sucks. 
<laughs> that sounds about right. <laughs> Thanks, Dustin. Thanks so much, buddy. You're doing great. We talk all the time, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah, and you keep on saying I'm a loser. Mm-hmm. Yep. That's called motivation. For you to not be a loser. For me to die. Prove him wrong. <laughs> what does Dustin know? Break the system. Except then again, Dustin's rich. So is that mm, why you're still friends with him? Maybe I should listen to Dustin. Yeah, that's, that's the only, only reason, reason Nick's still friends with mm-hmm. you. That's the only way I ever have any friends. <laughs> have you heard me talk? Yeah. <laughs> not a ton of personality. Nah, not a whole Personification. lot of personification. Loads of money, you know what I'm saying? Loads. loads so if you loads. buy them money, I can't wait to go on Amazon and then buy a five dollar bill for two dollars. <laughs> Is that there? I don't know. Yeah, but it's not a real five dollar bill, sadly. You don't know that. I actually don't. And then I'm going to be rich because I'm going to buy 60,000 of them. Mm. Wouldn't that... Could you do that with real money? Sell a dollar for $2 and that would... One time increase at a garage sale, I I'm a, uh, sold a quarter for 10 cents. Oh my I'm God. not kidding. <laughs> that was... Great. That's what I call profits, baby. Let's go. You sold it or bought it? I sold it. (laughs) My goodness. Did you? Did you? And I almost, then the next year, I almost sold a dollar for 50 cents, but then I didn't. There was one time I was selling a dollar for a dollar on, it was called Let Go. It's like Facebook Marketplace. Smart. Um, And I would get people, people would answer me. I have an entire... I have an entire, um, well, let me see where it is. Okay. It's waiting. an entire conversation that I saved. And it was uh, this very humorous guy. He offered 50 cents for it. <laughs> then He's we trying were to get trying to figure in. out, we're trying to figure out where to live, where to meet where each other lived so that we could find a middle ground and i just asked him if he wanted to meet under the bridge at midnight mm-hmm. and i didn't specify a bridge he said sure and then I'll be there. i was like just trust me the bridge whichever one comes to his mind first that'll be the one <laughs> Wait, what? and then that's, a, that's an interesting business tactic he got there first <clears throat> he got to the bridge first <laughs> And he was like, are you sure you want to meet here? I see a dead <laughs> getting eaten by a <laughs> raccoon family. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, abort, abort, the other bridge. Then he was like, a homeless man bit me whilst I was escaping. <laughs> so he was like, hurry, I'm bleeding out. And then I asked if he was breaking out in bum bumps. And he was like, yes, I think I need to amputate. I asked him if he had any tequila for the pain, and I'll bring a shotgun. Uh, he said, it's Elkhart, so I'll just flag down a Mexican. I'm sure they'll have some tequila. <laughs> <laughs> he said, he'll wait by the door and light a cigarette. I was like, okay, sit tight. And I asked why he went so early. <laughs> and he was like, the early bird gets the worm, and boy, did I ever. <laughs> wow. He said he could feel the worm swimming inside him. He got the early bird worm. <laughs> Is he okay? Then he wanted me, to, he knew he wasn't going to make it. So he was, if I don't make it, I need you to give a message to my grandma for me. And I was like, I promise. And then his response was, tell her that I, oh, I don't know if I can read this. <laughs> read it out and if we need to we can just censor it all right tell her that i know she thought i was in the other room watching spongebob but i wasn't (laughs) i saw her kill grandpa she she smothered him with pillows and he was too weak to fight her off i was just a young lad myself i didn't realize what she had done until it was too late i never told anyone until now and then i miss i miss miss uh, typed one of the words and he he corrected me as he was dying and said I was also an English major <laughs> and then I said I'm sorry you had to see that side of me so close to the end 
I forgive you, my child. I think this is it. I feel the light fading. I'll also see you in the land behind the, beyond the stars. Farewell, my child. But I purposely misspelled fair. And he corrected me, said fair, the correct way, and dies. And then, in parentheses, I went covers head with a sheet, but I misspelled head. <laughs> and in a ghost voice, he corrected me and said the proper head. <laughs> and then he also said, in a ghost voice, remember, it's never sexy to wear high heels if you walk like a newborn calf. And then I pulled out a revolver and shot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that that's and just that was the end golden. of it. That was wow. my experience selling a dollar for fifty cents. That was yeah, just absolutely. We never mind. made the transaction. Sad. That was. He was trying tragedy. to make a hundred percent profit though. That was intense. <laughs> I met him. I, so I saw emotion. him later selling something else, and I messaged him, but the experience wasn't the same. Sad. Wow. Sad. It was a riveting experience. It happened, it was right around midnight. Like the times were about right, what that we were talking about. Like it was like 11 o'clock, and I said to meet at the bridge at midnight. So and then, so if you would have been there, probably like 15 minutes early, he would have stayed alive. He wouldn't have, he wouldn't have died. No, I was there. Oh, you were there? Yeah, I went too. That makes sense. What bridge was it? The bridge. Oh, Under that the bridge. Yeah. That I've been I get it. Yeah. With the Mexican tequila boys. Mm-hmm. Well, you can bleep that out if you like. <laughs> I don't know if that's it's a great I don't story. Know if that's allowed. We're definitely not gonna bleep that up. All right. I have to stay in. Mm-hmm. That'll be okay then. Mm-hmm. Um what do you guys like to do for fun? I like playing Whoa. basketball. Whoa. Um I have a camping story. Oh, do you want me to tell you about my camping story? Sure. It's a real life one. That an so IRL you're saying one? your other one wasn't? The other one was real, but this one's an IRL one. Okay. Wait. <laughs> okay. Okay, so there was this time in my life where I wanted to live in Canada for a little bit. Oh, yeah, I remember Smart. that part. Okay. So I went and bought two dogs and took them both up there with me. And I gave one to a friend. All right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So the one that I have now, his name is Steve. I think I might have talked about him before. Mm -hmm. He's my son. Um, me and him, it would have been probably halfway through the trip of about a, it was just shy of three months that I was up there. We had a day, I had a day to myself where I wasn't doing anything. So I decided to go camping. All right. Mm -hmm. And up there, it's like, you can't go probably more than five miles without running into a lake. That might be an exaggeration, but it feels no, like that. No, that's not an exaggeration. It's a lot. There. There's a lot of water. So a lot I went of water. And I, first of all, what does she I decided, so I knew that, so we are at this day, all right? Mm -hmm. Next day was the camping trip. Mm -hmm. And I only decided to go on the camping trip about here in the day. Oh. All right? Okay. Okay, mm -hmm. I did those gestures so no one else knows. Mm -hmm. Late in the day. All right. There wasn't a lot of prep time, and I wanted to sleep the night that night and then spend the rest of the day hooping and hollering out in the bushes. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay. And so I didn't have a ton of prep time. I had to go grab a canoe, which was out back. I tossed that on top of my car, strapped it down, and then... I was just gathering up other stuff. I got a sleeping bag. I got a big overcoat so I wouldn't be cold. Took care of that. I got a knife, a fishing pole, a small hatchet. And by small, I mean you about <laughs> had a handle to grab onto. There was about maybe two inches and then about maybe a quarter inch thick head. <laughs> Not a lot of whacking power. And I was going to get my firewood with that. Smart. That, and I had, wow. this was probably at like four o'clock in the evening. And I was planning on sleeping out there and not taking firewood. So I had to cut the wood while I was there. I'm saying all this to say that there wasn't a lot of prep. All right. I had a fishing pole and I grabbed a frying pan 
with no butter or seasonings or food. <laughs> I just had a frying pan. I had a knife. IQ too. Um, let's see. I think I, I can't remember what, anything else that I took. It was a decent amount of stuff, but not well thought out. So I took off towards the towards the hills, and I found a random lake. I was it wasn't random. I was told to go to this lake. And I was given a route to map out and to get to a spot where there was good camping. It was probably like, I don't know, quite a while of canoeing to get to that place. Was it on an island? No. Me and Carson went on an island. We went camping no, on an that island. No, that's like a 40-minute yeah, boat like a, ride, though. Yeah. And I was in a canoe. Come on, you could have done Motorboat it. ride. It's not 40 minutes. It's pretty long. It's, it's like 30 20 minutes. 20 minutes. 30 minutes. Feels like a long even. time. Yeah. I don't know feels like a long time anyway i get in my canoe and i start paddling there's probably maybe an hour left of sunlight nice. and once you get in the water you're like all the way down on the ground and by ground i mean water so you can't <laughs> see a whole lot like as far as landmarks you're pretty <laughs> low you're as low as you can be and i could not tell where i was i there was no chance i was mapping to this place and up there those the lakes that there are there's like a million different channels that go off in other ways mm -hmm. there's like it's not just one direct path that you go to there's like little things that go into dead ends and other places that don't go to dead ends and go to other lakes so i was very lost Smart. Nice. and i paddled for probably like a half an hour i believe something like that so not anywhere near the car i can't just go back and it was getting dark. By dark, I mean sunset. There was still a decent amount of light. It was probably about, I probably had about an hour from when I started to where I could get to nice. where I was camping. All right. And then I knew I wasn't going to be able to find the place that he talked about. So I just started looking for somewhere else. And it was probably 45 minutes into my daylight left. I found a little place. And it was 45 minutes of paddling, so I couldn't just go back. I couldn't go home. I couldn't go back to the car and just leave. Nice. So I went up. So to explain, it was the lake came, or the land came out into a little bit of a point. All right? Mm -hmm. And then that point, it had some rocks on the edge. And then it came up, and there was really thick trees along the edge. And there was a hill that went up. Not crazy steep for very long but just a decent hill that went up to the top and then there was more really thick trees behind me very dense forest behind me so i was in this little bit of an opening in between the thick trees and the forest by opening i mean it's just a little clearing in that you can't see a ton out you can see like the lake mm -hmm. a little bit but not crazy a lot of visibility as far as out towards the water it was a pretty nice place for for camping if you would have been prepared and stuff but you weren't prepared. i wasn't prepared at all <laughs> so i started chopping down trees to try and get a fire going i got a fire going and my plan was instead of hacking through a million different trees with my tiny little hatchet <laughs> i just took and i cut down one tree and i laid it into the fire and nice. then i would just kind of move it up as i needed more firewood mm. pretty smart Okay. Smart guy. Okay. That's me being that. What's that guy's name? Survivor guy. Daniel Boone. No, the um, he's like Australian accent. Uh, Australian. Australian. Uh, Bear Grylls. Yes. Bear Grylls. Me being Bear Grylls. All right. Mm -hmm. Thinking smart, out of the box. No one's ever done it before. So. I didn't have much to do because I didn't have any food. Pretty much get the fire going lay down that's all i had <laughs> that's all i had to do why didn't you bring food oh i didn't think about it i was <laughs> i had a fishing pole and that was my plan for modern food. necessities doesn't need that i didn't have water either uh, either i don't think maybe i had a water bottle I might have had a water bottle i don't remember anyway so i had my dog along with me and it was mind you i had bought the dog right before we went to the camping trip so i nice. hadn't had I had been training him, but he wasn't trained. 
he didn't know what no meant. He didn't know what his name meant. He didn't know what come meant. He didn't know anything. So it was a very frustrating dog to work with. I was, we were very good friends. Nice. He liked me a lot and I liked him, but he just didn't understand anything. And so, let's see. I went to sleep. The dog was right beside me. He had, Steve's head was kind of like on my chest a little bit. And we were like, I was like holding him like this. Mm-hmm. All right, we went to sleep. Mm-hmm. Like it was that. probably like 2 o'clock in the morning, maybe 2.30. Um, he just went nuts at something up the hill. So I was on that hill. And up there, it was pitch black. I had a pretty big flashlight, but he just started going nuts up up towards the thick woods. Nice. And so I grabbed my flashlight. I was expecting to shine my flashlight and see this moose with his little ukulele chin thingy mm-hmm. luring over me, about to stomp, stomp my brains out. And I showed my flashlight, and there was nothing that I could see, which was a relief. But he's still going nuts. That would not be a relief. I grabbed onto him as hard as I could because I knew that the fox and the wolves up there were smart. All right? I knew knew their plan. (laughs) They were going to lure the dog. They were going to make a noise and lure the dog and then come. And then they knew that you would come after the dog. Clap me. Double claps. Mm Mm-hmm easy claps i knew that i knew their plan so i grabbed on the dog i wasn't going to separate us even though the dog could take care of the moose i was going to keep him there because the wolf was right over there Mm -hmm. all right did you see it no i didn't see anything (laughs) i was panicking he was thinking he was thinking i was thinking thinking. so i grabbed onto the dog held him down so that he wouldn't run off and then grabbed a flashlight and shone around and there was nothing there and once again can't really do anything Got a hatchet, but that's all I can do. You can stab a stab a wolf. ukulele off the <laughs> off the moose. I couldn't really do anything, so pretty much it took me maybe another hour and a half to fall asleep again because I was pretty shook up. And I woke up in the morning. There were some muskrats in the water, but he was barking the opposite way. I don't know. I don't know what he was barking at in the end. What? Then I was pretty hungry. Still had my pan. No butter, no food, no anything. So you ate so the pan. I went out in the canoe. Me and the dog went out with the fishing pole. The American and dream. I caught the biggest <laughs> pike of my life. Nice. All right. And pikes have like these really sharp teeth. Like they're like yeah. gnarly teeth in their mouth. And it was terrifying. I didn't have a pliers. I had a knife and a hatchet. And I can't really get the hook out. And I didn't really know how to handle a pike. <laughs> so... And the dog doesn't know how to understand what no means or sit down or don't bite that fish because it's going to kill you. <laughs> <laughs> so he was nonstop trying to bite the fish. I didn't want to pick him up and it was too heavy to lift with the line to get him into the boat. So I just kind of dragged him to the shore <laughs> with him still stuck. He had completely swallowed the swallowed the hook. So I, don't, nice. I couldn't have really gotten him anyway. Um, so I got him up on land, me and the dog jumped out, and the dog was just nonstop trying to bite him, and I'm screaming my head off at this dog, <laughs> because I, the fish is going to get a last burst of life, and he's going to gnaw his face off. The, <laughs> and by big, I mean like, I could hold him up about mouth size, and it would probably, the tail would probably go below my waist. It was like probably like this big of a pike. It was a ginormous pike. Wow. Impressive. And eventually, I think I just cut the line and let him go. Really? <laughs> because, I don't know, I wasn't that hungry. Just the knife and stab <laughs> you were hungry him. after having to catch your own food. I wasn't, I wasn't that hungry. wasn't interested in butchering a fish. <laughs> so, Lost I, just, I just cut my losses. It was probably like 1 o'clock in the afternoon by this time. A lot had happened. It was raining. I didn't have anything for raining. I didn't plan on that. So I was soaked, and the dog was wet, the canoe was wet, everything was wet, and I went back to the car. I assume that when you said it was raining, Uh everything's wet. Everything's wet. So it was just a terrible time. (laughs) It wasn't any fun. I, yeah, that was pretty much, if anyone, when I got back, they asked me how it was. 
I answered it was terrible. <laughs> None of it was fun. <laughs> I nice. didn't have fun. Good job. There might have been you, some... You probably would have fun if you were to let a dog go and went up and tried finding the bulbs that Maybe. tried killing you. But then again, you could have died. I was tired, you know? Mm -hmm. It was in the middle of the night. tired of the biking. I'm tired of not being appreciated. Well, exactly. that's not going to change anytime soon. <laughs> so. Of not being appreciated? Yeah. Mm. I have to pay you. Yeah. Well, that's so my then the story. next day you did it again. The next right? day. When I went to Canada, um, me and Carson, we went out to their quarry that they own for some reason. They just they own, own a quarry. Oh, yeah. 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 I w we went to a different quarry, but it wasn't one they owned. It was like one for swimming and jumping off cliffs. We went to a quarry. Okay. One of theirs. There's no water in the pit, but it was fun to slide down. We went over there and we went through the woods. We seen a moose, interesting mm -hmm. moose. It was pretty close, mm, maybe 30, 40 yards away. Um, did you go and touch it? Nope, it did ran you away. Strum his ukulele, huh? Did you strum his ukulele? Nope, that wasn't that close. And then we, then we went out and we seen water. And like in Canada, normally it's pretty easy to walk on ice because it's normally very thick and frozen. But it was pretty early into the winter, so it wasn't that frozen. But we decided to walk out on it anyways because we are very skilled. And we had their dog along. I forget what his name is. Is it the ugly one? They have two dogs. Is it Alan or the black one? I don't remember. Oh, yeah, Alan. I, remember. I think it was Alan. Yeah, it was is Alan. Is it Alan? Mm hmm Okay. Yeah. And we, cause we, we were having fun. because, Or by the shoreline, the ice was thicker than it was out farther into the water. And we were having fun just picking up rocks and throwing it out like little children. <laughs> just throwing rocks out into the water and watching it break the ice. And for some reason, for we found a stick and we threw the stick. And then Alan was like, oh, "No, <laughs> Alan was like, I'm gonna go get that stick." So then Alan starts slowly walking out there. None of us can do anything because we can't go that far out there. Just say, "Don't do that." We did. And then the dog was like, "We just kept on yelling at the dog," and the dog kept on walking out the there. Dog was like, "No, I am determined to be nice and get the stick, stick back." After a little bit, the dog figured out that the ice was pretty thin and that it was no longer interested in the stick. So it did come back, and that was great. And then we walked along the shoreline on the water. That was fun. Until the ice started cracking and we like were very scared because we were just deep enough that it could be a little bit dangerous. So then we slowly <laughs> crawled back really? on the shore. Yeah. Um, we were terrified. Alan is Steve's brother. That's the dog oh. I took up for him. Nice. He was the second dog that went with me up there. Nice. Yeah. Wow. Small world. Small world. What do you know? Yeah. What do you Canada's know? Canada's great and I would not mind living up there. Well... There's like, yeah, just pike, yeah. <laughs> just pike, pike and maple syrup, <laughs> sticky, yeah, sticky situations. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm hmm. Can't beat him. Intermission up there. Also, when I went up there, we went on snowmobiles and we had epic snowmobile rides, and I nearly flipped one, which was fun. Didn't though, because I'm I think skilled. Nevin. One. I don't think I did. I think Nevin Too flipped one. We went back out, you know, back out like their field back, like way yeah. back. We went out there and we just freaking floored it, hitting like did 60 you, miles an hour. Just like, did you go boom, up boom. Sioux Mountain with them? No. Was the lake frozen over enough? No. No. This was the same time where we couldn't go out. Never yeah. The dog was yeah. going to die. We, when we went up there, it was like middle of winter. And also, you have to winter. have a license to go on those things because those are trails. I did not. You broke the law. Awesome. Nice. That's about right. Goals. Um, that was really cool. Going up mm -hmm. the mountain. I have I have pictures of that. It's like we went up there when it was go, summer. We had a drone. You like go all the way. You go down the road a little bit, and then mm -hmm. you like cut down into the little channel that's frozen, and you go underneath a bridge and like all the way out across the lake, like yeah. just straight out. You floor it the whole way. Through. We did that in boat like. Ugh. Seven boats. years ago, we went did that with a boat. We took it all the way across. Boated. Did you go to Sioux Mountain? Yeah, yeah, we've been there several times. And we'd go up there and we'd pack a picnic lunch. And we'd go up there at the top of that mountain and sit at the edge of the cliff, which was like a 70-foot drop. Found, I found a snowshoe one time down that cliff. <laughs> me um, and, we me slept and, up there one night. Me and Carson scaled the mountain as far up as we could, as steep as we could. Okay. It was great. We found a picnic table and we proceeded to throw it off the cliff. <laughs> and then we got scolded by our it parents. It was a young family trying to have a picnic later that day. 
Yeah. Yeah, I've never been to Canada. Nick is your nerd. I've you been more know. of a U.S. kind of guy. <laughs> Patriotic. America. I mean, I would have. I could, but I mean. But you can't. Cause you're yeah. Yeah, I, yeah, I can't. Yeah, it was, it was great up there. We and, and that's when I first got introduced to VR. That was great. Great time. Just playing VR. Having a great time. He sold that now, didn't he? Yep. Yeah. He bought the old or the older version, so because he's a cringe person. But no, he wanted to buy a computer, so he sold the VR headset. Poor people. Mm, poor. Dude, his dad's coffee shop is lit. Honestly, I worked there a little bit. Yeah, I did too. It was pretty cool. His dad has a coffee shop. That sounds fun. He has fun. a coffee yeah. shop. Canadian coffee shop, so it's like in, the most in a bookstore. A bookstore. Sounds cool, actually. And they had like lemon bars, and I had some lemon bars and iced coffee, and it was great. Nice. I want to own one. <laughs> Good luck with that, TJ. Maybe. I'm kidding. You got this. You I got will. This. Thank you very much. Mm-hmm. But you have to do it in Canada because it's so cool up there. It's so epic. Well, and also, they also, also make like, like their own coffee. 50 coffee shops within two miles of each other. Yeah. I have Speaking to know there's three coffee shops. Wait. Yeah, it's three coffee shops within two miles like, of each other. Canada is great for having a fun time. I would love to go camp on an island sometime for like two days. Camp on an island, go fishing, grab canoes and stuff. I See, am. that's what I thought. Yeah. <laughs> it was going to be great. <laughs> but you didn't grab another person. Yeah, you need you, well, need, you need two people true. so you can have so you can send them up the hill. Yeah. It's ah. like, go check it out. And you also need to bring your shot. Oh, dude, yeah, I need a gun. Wait, can you get can, mm. no guns in Canada? Probably. I think there. I think you can, but there's like a lot of stuff that goes into it. Well, how know. do you expect to? What if you're attacked by a moose? What are you supposed to do? <laughs> what are you supposed to do? Throw my tidy hatchet. You have to use your maple syrup jug. <laughs> you have to use your maple <laughs> and syrup your gun sticks. <laughs> wow. Love how Dustin just pictures. making fun of Canada. Canada's great. Canada's a pretty cool place. It's a pretty cool place. I've been thinking of going this winter again to see if I could. Dude, if you do, I haven't been up there in like please do, four and then years. I'm gonna go with you. If you do, I'll go with you, and we'll be buddies. Three years. I think it's been three years. It's been it's been three. It's been I went in it's been three and a half years. Eighteen or seventeen, something like that. It's been maybe nineteen. One of the years Wait, that me, when me and my happened me and my ago. dad me and my dad went up there. Just me and him. We went up to Canada. Uh, 2019, right before COVID hit, and we were just up there having a great, grand old time. Oh, I remember that. You, I went to yeah. Tim Hortons, didn't you? Yeah, I went. We stopped at Tim. Well, you can get Tim Hortons. Well, yeah, but, like, it was, it was yeah. great. I sent you a picture. I remember that. I didn't get with. Uh, he just. <laughs> I had a great time. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to bring my dog up there, and we'll have a great time. Cause my dog's actually like a winter mountain dog. So. For me, it's mountain dog. Mm-hmm. Bernie. He's going to die. Yep. hundred <laughs> percent. You talk up your dog. <laughs> Dustin's going to lure him away. I'm going to lure him away but to, Dustin, the, you have, the wolves. You have to go to Canada so that I can go with you. Well, there's a strict, no, there's strict not. Strict rule on. No Canada. Yeah, no Canadians on. Who goes. Back or naked. In my car. Oh. Mm-hmm. My car is incredible. Been in your car many times. Yes, but not for this long. <laughs> not since I sealed the roof and it doesn't leak anymore. Oh, good job. <laughs> and now he doesn't want to break again. So. No, you need to go buy a new car and then take it up there. Shall we talk about cars? Sure. All right. Again, what car like should I buy? Because I'm in the market. BMW i7, a i8. I don't know if that is one. I'm just kidding. It is. It's just not one in my price range. What do you mean? You can get a used one for like eighty grand. Cheap. Twenty thirteen. Wrangler. <laughs> I don't really look at cars that are out of my budget. <laughs> I don't really know anything about them. Jeep. Like a G wagon. Ooh, I want that. Those are pretty cool, but I don't know anything about them. Cause they're expensive. Good buy it with pocket change. A lot of pockets. <laughs> I have I, big I pockets. I constantly <laughs> carry hundreds of thousands of dollars in I my have pockets. Massive pockets. Yeah. Filled with. Get a Subaru. A Subaru. Uh, Outback. I think you have to be named Kyle to drive a Subaru. Outback. You don't have to be named Carl. Okay, yeah, Outback. but then you have to smoke weed and. 
<laughs> what? I don't, I don't know that. I have a Subaru bag. Let's get a VW. What is the... He has a VW. Get another VW. I've only ever owned VWs. That's not true. I had a Chrysler. <laughs> he was <laughs> eyeing sure That was bad. Yeah, it was awful. No, I've like... had I've had three VWs now. I had a Cabriolet. Was That's my first fancy. car. It is. It was. It's a little convertible. Is it? Is that your red car? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. That's nice. my little red car. It was the first car I ever owned. Uh, it also leaked in the roof. Um, <laughs> Seems like a then recurring I had theme. A VW Jetta wagon. A 2003 that one i think that one has been my favorite car so far but it got totaled up in canada <laughs> by on your brother trip by the dog by the dog he was... <laughs> <laughs> steve was going on a joy ride <laughs> <laughs> and he found an old lady um, they proceeded to have a great time and now i have a vw jetta wagon isn't that what you had earlier? Is mm-hmm. that what you just said? Yep. But this Bought one sucks. the same one. <laughs> oh. It's not. The other one was a manual, and this one is an automatic. The other one was a 2003. This one's a 2010. Uh, so why was the other one better? This one sounds like this one should be better. It's much worse. Why? Worser. Worser. I had, on that 2003, I had done a bunch of stuff to it. Like nice. I had. Wait, was that one the manual? Yeah. Oh, that makes sense. I straight piped it, which actually is not incredibly loud because mm-hmm. of the like, turbo. Boom, 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 boom. You can just hear the turbo way more. Nice. It wasn't it wasn't excessively loud. And then I deleted the EGR and got bigger injectors. I think that's pretty much all I did. Nice. But it was pretty throaty. I got it tuned as well. Hot. I could puff smoke like a dirty diesel guy. <laughs> I was like, Chad with it. What a Chad. Someone's tailgating me then you brake check them <laughs> no tj's the type of guy who would do that i Just would never brake check brake check someone unless the they're highway. driving a lambo and then that's and, a good idea and then great for your insurance mm-hmm. do you see that video of this girl that rear-ended a lambo and then was trying to blame it on him saying that he hit her <laughs> but it was very clear that, How is that? So he he was backing up he and just nailed up. it. <laughs> he was backing up in traffic somehow. <laughs> yeah. Smart. I think he would might have been like waiting to turn on a red at You a have to green you ha- light. like uh, at that point you have to do something because you can't afford It's like wait a minute. You well, maybe you shouldn't be that. driving if you can't drive correctly. You hit me, remember? Remember that? Remember when you were backing up and I was being a gangster. And I was trying to back up too, well, but she, if she had yeah. insurance, she wouldn't have to pay anything. I know, but that'd be a pretty big hit on her insurance. That's true, but I don't think that matters. Who needs insurance these sure? days? I mean, it would mm-hmm. matter $80, as far as dollars, that you, your insurance has to pay eighty thousand dollars, and that's not going to affect you whatsoever. It would matter, but it wouldn't matter as much is any different than like if you hit any other car, right? No. I feel like well, depends how bad it was. I mean, for them it would. Yeah. Like to affect her, like it would obviously go on your record that you yeah. hit someone. Hit a Lamborghini. I rear-ended someone once. Yeah, you were putting on your shoe, weren't you? Yes. He was putting on his shoe, guys. I was tying on my. Sh- I was tying my shoes while I was driving. <laughs> <laughs> while driving your driver. manual. I was driving my manual. That was, smart. It was that 2003 Jetta. Wow, what a genius! And I. I came up on a red light and it turned green while I was probably like a ways away. So I just left it in second, just coasting. And I started tying my shoe. And the and old they, lady in front of you never, didn't move. They never moved. <laughs> I got pretty close to, I was going pretty slow. And I slammed my one foot that I wasn't tying down on the clutch instead of the brake. <laughs> so it s- stopped the engine, but didn't really stop the car. Rip. And I rear-ended him. He had, I think it was like a Lamborghini Aventador. Yeah, it was a, <laughs> <laughs> it was a Bugatti. No, it was a pickup truck, like kind of like a Chevy something, but I don't think it was a Chevy, like a Silverado, but it wasn't a Silverado. Mm-hmm. I don't know, something like that. It did absolutely nothing to his truck, and total to your car. My car is gone. <laughs> 
No, it was it just dented the hood. I have a video of someone dancing on my hood after yeah. I rear-ended it. I know who. It was Evan. It was pretty funny. I played the Macarena. I played the Macarena for him while he danced on the hood of my messed up car. <laughs> That's Evan. <laughs> Nice. Pretty nice. What a mad lad. Then my brother had a 2004 Jetta. It was a Jetta, but it wasn't a wagon week. And he was just taking the engine out of it to put in his Jeep. That Jeep I talked about last episode that has the TDI engine. Nice. Um, mm-hmm. He was putting that engine into his Jeep so he didn't need the car anymore. And so I got the hood off of that car and I put it on that car. That car. That car, that car. Mm -hmm. Over to that one. A little bit of a transfer. Smart. I'm just too skilled. And then I painted it, and it was all okay again. My friend offered me a Subaru Impreza 2003 with like 190,000 miles on it for $1,000. Did you buy it? No, I didn't because I want to, but I I don't. I'm not going to use the car. Also comes with another engine that only has 100,000 miles on it. I'd want to buy it. I just don't have the room to put it. I'm not going to be driving it. Build a garage. But then that Why cost a lot more money. Huh? Why didn't you think of that? Because that costs a lot more money. Do you want to buy it? Think. No. Two engines. And then you have a sp- stupid car that you can just throw around. You I spend- already have a stupid car that I throw around. Now you have two. We could do derbies. Mm, derby. Derby. Then you can go with your end, whoever you want. <laughs> I would plan. I'm kind of planning on buying a new car mm-hmm. that is probably like a 2000, I don't know. 2017 Subaru Outback. <laughs> from Back to the Future. Mm-hmm. And then use this car still as my daily until this one gives out because I have my suspicions that this one might be on its last leg. It's a lot of problems. <laughs> Are you going to get a manual? I would like to. Cool. But I don't That's not a deal breaker. I don't know. What's so cool about a manual? You can just go like, <laughs> it's just more work. Well, you can like rev more it up work. and drop the clutch. You can't really do that. More work. You can't get a more. ton of RPMs. The Super Outback has a sport mode where you can just change the gear, change the thingies. Well, but you can't like drop the clutch. Why not? Because there's no clutch. You can't, <laughs> wreck, you can't do a ton of RPMs and then just really fun why would you want that's boring just have a car that drives stop being manuals do drive (laughs) it's less work more fun that's my motto it's not less work okay i'm gonna invent something that automatically shifts it (laughs) the manual it it automatically (laughs) pushes the clutch and shifts it that's incredible i'm a genius you're welcome No, the first car I ever drove was, or the first car I had, that Cabriolet was a manual, and the second car was a manual, and then the third car was an automatic, and then the fourth car was an automatic. So I should do two more manuals and then go back to automatic for two Mm -hmm. more. (laughs) I'm just going to buy two more cars, please. Just take take two. I'll take one. I'm shopping, but I don't really know what to get. Subaru Outback 2018. What's your price range? Seven million dollars. <laughs> Ideally, no more than like fifteen. Ideally, dollars. Did you get a Honda Civic Si? Mm. Are they manual? Mm-hmm. Front wheel drive? I don't know. I would love to have a rear wheel drive. I have an all wheel drive. Sorry, super. I have a one wheel drive. drive. I would prefer one. a rear wheel. Why? So you can drift. Not a necessity, but it's really fun. <laughs> <laughs> well, then you just take it out of your budget for some reason. I don't know why. What out of my budget? Your I socks. Your take out of your Uber stocks. Stonks. My Uber. Your Uber. My Uber is not doing too good. Should we do an Uber check? I'm down I paid a bunch dollars. of money into Uber out of peer pressure. From, From who? His dad. Put him on the pedestal like that. It's true, TJ. You're a bad person because of that. He I said Uber was going to go up like a bunch.
bunch this year yet. And so I was like, I believe you. I'm all in. And I put my entire life savings into it. <laughs> and now I'm down 23%. He tricked you. Every he wanted you to spend ever all your money. On GameStop. <laughs> I told him. Sorry, Dad. I'm taking out your retirement savings. Either you're going to retire in a mansion or else you're going to the retirement home. Looks like you made it to the retirement home. Congratulations. You've won our game. Who's going, going to, to the retirement, the retirement home? home. That's funny. Well, how long have we been? Long enough, if you want to end it. I don't have any more stories. Well, I have a story. Okay, tell me the story. Spit it out. Um, I don't have one. That's not But I made you think I did. That's, so, that's a story. Scam. That's a story. That's a story in the making. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Tell me more. One time? It was good One of times. the times when I was in Canada, I was like... This was a long time ago, so I was like... 13 or something no like 14 and i and me and carson were down there and he like that kid has so many red bulls like his parents bought him like a a crate of red bulls like 40 something red bulls and me and him had red bulls one night and we just stayed up very late playing vr and screaming and drinking red bulls Hmm, it was a great time. And now whenever we hang out we just buy a bunch of red bulls and drink red bulls i switched to pre-workout I don't. You can have get a it. Pre-workout. You can get it at Meyer. I'm not 21, so I can't buy pre-workout. Well, I think it's just 18. No, nope. or online at least is 21. Go to Meyer. Okay, I'll go. Well, but even if I should only have so much caffeine in a day, it's incredible. <laughs> whatever, whatever it is, it's incredible. Will it change my life? Yes, mm-hmm. 100. percent I like not for the better. <laughs> <laughs> It doesn't make you a it crack just addict. Your life. It's pretty much cocaine. Not really, but kind of. It's okay. cocaine without the addiction. That's not true. That's not. It's addictive. <laughs> I take it every day. <laughs> Do you, though? Took it yesterday. Did you take it today? There's still time. Do you work out? No, no he just dances. <laughs> no. <laughs> Dustin's built. I take pre workout to game. That's Maybe. actually a thing people do. That sounds stupid. I did it yesterday morning. At home? Because I had to get into a cold shower. So I broke my water heater <laughs> nice. by throwing stuff in the basement. And I didn't have warm water the next day. Nice. When, the next morning when we were going to go to Cabela's. That's why I was late that morning. Mm-hmm. Sure. Um, Keep telling yourself that. I had to psych myself up to get into a cold shower and it's not like when you go and you say you're going to take a cold shower that morning for health reasons and you like do a little bit of warm but mainly cold it's just like really cold but not all the way cold Mm -hmm. you ever done that yes there was no hot water at all like it was all the way cold rip rip i screamed a lot (laughs) my parents weren't home i was the only one in the house nice and it was just miserable. It Why started didn't you out with, get water you know, and like, on the stove, boil it? Oh, not boil Oh, you get warm. <laughs> boil it and get, burn get it warm yourself. and then just pour it on your head. <laughs> Pull it to the room. Yeah. We did that one time. We had, we had to clean the house, but the warm water wasn't working, so we had to put pots on the stove and warm up the water. And we did like that. But you can't add that to the shower head. <clears throat> so, just dump it on yourself. Just go in the shower and just... You know how, like, in the army, they have, like, the hoorah type of stuff where they yell a lot mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. my shower started out with that and it ended with me crying <laughs> <laughs> is that just a normal shower it's a normal shower just a normal shower no well the crying was smart oh, i thought That's... i was gonna go quiet for longer no after i said i after i admit i shower a lot well yeah because you just have horrible hygiene no if i shower a lot i don't yeah, that's huh. the reason you shower a lot because you have horrible hygiene. Well, showering is hygiene. Shut up. Wait, mm, your theory is flawed. Hygiene. My theory is flawed. I am flawed. We're all flawed, except for Dustin. Dustin has no flaws. Except that he broke and his water of money. Here. Hmm. Give me your car. Let me drive it home. I have to go. I think I do have to go. Bye-bye. Shall we wrap it up? Maybe. Do a nice outro? 
Okay. Do you yeah. have any outro music? Not yet. But um, 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 but can we do four seconds before we can get copyrighted? Three seconds. And even then, they can still copyright you. Well, but, um, let's do... Let me find a song dee 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 for the outro so we can end on a good end it. Non-copyright. Do you have the song? You're so slow. My goodness. TJ's <laughs> just, just flapping on his phone. Flap, flap. There's no internet down here. We might have to end it on a bad note. Hot live Wi-Fi. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Let oh. me try again. Let me try again. Hang on. That's the end. You have to be ready, though. Oh. It's going gonna, it's gonna to happen quick because we only the, have two the seconds. The Lemon Drops podcast. Podcast. Thank you for bearing with us. Wait, it's going to happen. <laughs> waiting. Thank you for waiting and here it is. bearing with us. We can't even play it.